Once upon a time, on Olympus, Athena, the warrior daughter of Zeus, had a very dear childhood friend, whose name was Pallas. Pallas was the daughter of the god, Triton, and Triton was the son of Poseidon and prince of the seas. From the time Athena had been born, from Zeus' head, she and Pallas had always trained together. Prince Triton taught the two girls the arts of war. He taught them how to use the spear and shield, how to use the bow and arrow, and how to fight with a sword. When he felt they had learnt enough, Triton arranged for both of the girls a friendly combat, a mock battle, a sort of training session, to imitate the real-life scene of war. The goal of the fight was to disarm their opponent, and whoever managed to disarm her opponent would be the winner. Most of the gods were present at the festival to see the match, and the king god, Zeus, watched on from the skies. When the friendly battle began, Athena and Pallas fought each other with spears. Both girls fought very well and impressively as the audience cheered them on. At the initial stage of the fight, Athena had the upper hand, and thus, dominated the fight, right until Pallas took over, and began to dominate. Pallas fought, with renewed vigor, and focus, and as she was about to disarm Athena, Zeus secretly interfered. Zeus feared to see his own daughter lose, he feared the shame, as king of the gods, he saw it fitting, that his own daughter, emerged victorious. So, Zeus stylishly, held up his aegis, which distracted Pallas. Pallas stood still, staring at the magnificent shield, in awe, completely oblivious to the rest of the fight, and this gave Athena enough chance to recover her strength. Still thinking her friend was conscious of the fight, Athena readied her spear. Expecting Pallas to dodge, as usual, Athena threw her spear, only to watch in total horror, as the spear impaled Pallas, it had fatally pierced her chest. With a loud cry, Athena rushed to help her friend, but it was too late. Pallas was dead. Out of the grief and regret, Athena built a statue in the likeness of Pallas, and called it the Palladium. She then took the name Pallas as her own. Forgive me Pallas, for I know not how it happened. Thou were my friend, now thou art no more. But thou will not be forgotten. Thy name shall become my name, in honor of thy memory. Athena made the Palladium sacred, and placed it in the city of Troy. As long as the Palladium remained in Troy, Troy would never be defeated. And so it was. The city of Troy became invincible and unconquerable, until that fateful day, when the hero, Odysseus, stole the Palladium from Troy.